Hello and welcome to this week's episode of my Tamora D Chow Chow vlog. In this episode we will be covering weaning. So weaning is where we move the puppies from being fully dependent on their mothers for breast milk and move them on to a solid food. Now there are lots and lots of different puppy weaning foods available on the market but I always recommend that you go for the best you can possibly afford. If you are weaning puppies and charging for them, you really do have to make sure that they have the very, very best start in life. And that starts with the right food. We always feed the mothers from late pregnancy all the way through feeding on the same puppy food that we are going to move the puppies onto. By feeding the mums the same food as the puppies, you're already exposing the puppies to these ingredients, which will make it easier for them to absorb the nutrients from that food. Here you can see that we are using Taste of the Wild. This is a Pacific Stream flavour. Uh, this is a grain-free food made with salmon. So it's really good for the puppy's coat, um, lots of omega-3 fish oils, etc. going through this food. So we add the puppy biscuit to a bowl and add boiling water. We wait for a few seconds while this um, absorbs the water and then we blend it. We do this to turn it into a porridge type consistency that is easier for the puppies at this age to lap up instead of having to chew. Once this is done, we move the puppy biscuit into shallow bowls so the puppies can all reach it. The number of bowls will depend on how big the puppies are. Obviously, we don't want the puppies to fight over the food being given to them. So spacing the food out easily so everybody gets a chance to eat is essential. When feeding the puppies, we always put a puppy pad down first. This just helps keep the bedding area as clean as possible. Because I'm going to be honest, puppies can make an absolute mess when it comes to feeding. Um, they can get all four feet in and spread it around. So puppy pads just help to keep the bedding clean so you're not changing the bed as often as you have to feed them. When giving the puppies their food for the first time as well, it's quite common to have to encourage the puppies to go over to the food bowl. This could be by um, tapping the bowl or putting a bit on your finger and helping the puppies find what it is that they're after. We start our puppies usually on hard feed around four weeks old, depending on how well they're doing on mum's milk. That will affect how easy they are to want to eat hard food. Quite often you'll see that they'll try climbing to mum's bowl, which is normally a good indication that they're ready to start on their hard food. At this age, until they leave you at eight weeks old, puppies are fed four times a day. If puppies are particularly small, we can add extras like goat's milk to the porridge just to make it a little bit more appetising um, and if you're worried about anyone having runny tummies etc then we can add things like live yoghurt to make it a little bit more appealing for them. Once everybody has had their fill we take up what's left in the bowl, throw that away as we don't want the puppies walk through it or poo in it. So bowls are taken away and fully sterilised before the next meal. Thank you for watching this episode of my Tomorrow D Chow Chow vlog. I hope you found this video on weaning helpful. If you have, please subscribe to my videos where you can catch more of my episodes weekly. If you would like to leave me a comment, please do so below and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, you can find me on any of my social media forms, all shown here on screen now.